Many cow-calf operations like to have the replacement heifers bred just a few weeks ahead of, of most of the cow herd. And that gives those heifers then a few extra days between their calving next spring and when they have to recycle to rebreed for subsequent calf crops. That means that the breeding season for this year's replacement heifers should be winding down because if we started in mid-April and uh, have a 45 to 60 day breeding season for those heifers, then that should be concluding here in the, in the mid part of June. I think that means it's a good time to visit with your veterinarian and schedule to have those replacement heifers pregnancy checked. If there's any group of cattle on the operation that I'm firmly convinced we must pregnancy check them, it's those replacement heifers. Research tells us that if they don't get bred in that first go around, that first breeding season, chances are they're going to be difficult to get bred uh, the rest of their lifetime. So this is a good time to identify those that didn't conceive in that first breeding season and call them. And we want to call them early so that they're still young enough that they can go into a feedlot and eventually be fed out and become choice beef. If we wait until next spring and find out that some of these heifers didn't calve, then we have a two-year-old that is open and is going to bring considerably less money. Plus, we have spent the grass this summer and the feed next winter raising that heifer. So I just think that it makes really good sense to have these heifers pregnancy checked, identify those that didn't get bred in this, in this first breeding season. It'll help our cow herd for years to come and certainly save us a few dollars as we go through this winter's feeding season. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.